So I wanted to get back on track and what I wanted to do in this video is show you how to set up your front page using WordPress and Divi and uh, the whole idea that I have in mind is to show you how to create a website for a small business like a home remodeling service and uh, what I did is I downloaded a few images from Pixabay and I'm going to use it to use those images to show you uh, exactly how to set up your website and I'm doing this just so it's a bit more interesting and you can see a website come together in front of you in a couple of videos um, well not maybe a couple of videos but a few videos and um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to add a background to this slider and as you can see I uh, did upload a few images before I started creating this video and the second thing I want to do is I want to change the header font to this one and uh, I'm gonna make all the alphabets caps with the font bold so I'm gonna save this and update it let's see what happens I'll the front and that's a beautiful image with a text I can't see so I'm just gonna remedy that and uh, let's add this text overlay and uh, I'm gonna make it a little transparent but dark and what this option does basically is add a background behind this text right here and make it more visible and what I feel is it gives it a little more impact and I like the whole effect so I'm gonna use this for this video and uh, to change the button we need to go into the theme customizer and the reason to choose the th uh, to, to use the theme customizer to change the button is to make the change all over the website I don't need to change the button again and again unless I want it to look different in a certain section of my website I can do that by changing the button styles in the advanced options for any button on the website so I'm just gonna choose uh, an orange background for the button and uh, a dark border but maybe a little more darkness in this orange or maybe yeah I like orange but this is not the right color alright that looks much better alright so that looks nice now once you have chosen the color for your button you can go back into the hover styles and choose what color it should look uh, when someone is uh, when someone has their mouse over it and uh, the background color I chose in the button styles is the same one I'm using here only adding a little transparency on it which gives it this nice effect right here and I'm gonna save this and just go back to the front page reload it Alright, so far so good. Um, the next thing I want to do is uh, create another section and uh, what I'm going to do is create another standard section and use these three columns here and use the blurb module. So the first service that I want to talk about is maybe home remodeling or we could just use service 1, service 2, service 3 for the purpose of this website but um, just to give it a realistic look just so that you know you can see all the text looking like a real website I'm just gonna use the real text and uh, we're gonna use an image related to home remodeling so I'm going to probably use this nice image of this living room over here and uh, 
you should always use the alt text uh, for SEO purposes if you don't know about that you should probably read up about it and find out a few more things about web design and SEO yeah I always use uh, something relating to the video in the alt text because that's what's expected to be done over here so you could just easily copy the blurb and uh, have it in all three spots and then update the page just to see how it looks and uh, you might need to you know center the text to make it look better and what I'm gonna do is center the text and change the images and the text on these other blurbs real quick so maybe flooring services and real quick make this centered So I'm going to update this and let's see what this looks like. Uh, I missed the centering on the last one. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to update this and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, add a background behind the home remodeling section. Uh, the services section I'm sorry and uh, to do that you can just use a background color and uh, it could be any color you like I'm just gonna use this one for now and uh, if I use that color I'm pretty sure the text needs to be light so I'm gonna change the text to light in all of the blurbs and that's looking pretty nice but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define that section a bit and to do that you need to create another row over here and in this module I'm gonna use a text layer and for that I'm gonna center it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write what we do and uh, this could be caps if you want but I'm just gonna see what this looks like first and uh, it, could be, it should be centered and maybe not heading two, maybe heading three and save this oh I forgot to make it light So that looks pretty nice, but if you want it to be all caps, you can do that too. Um, just to reload this first. And while that's reloading, I'm just gonna go in and show you some of these options. Up. So it's what we do, and if you want it to be all caps, you can choose this option. And if you want it to be underlined, you could choose this option. Save, update it and go back and see what it does uh, it probably hasn't saved yet so sorry about that huh didn't do anything that's weird so I'm gonna try that again or maybe because it's header font and I don't know why but Divi does not recognize the H3 tag as a header font well, I don't know why it does that but you're gonna need to have to do this instead and update it and you can see that it did the change I was asking it to do 
and uh, what we could do is uh, maybe add a border around this image to make it look you know maybe make it stand out on this black background and I want to do an orange border but if I do it through the blurb and I'm gonna show you what happens if I do do it through the blurb and I use this use border option a little darker yeah. just gonna copy this alright so I'm just gonna show you what happens over here So if I do that, it usually just covers everything in the blurb, right? And I just want my uh, border to be on the image, not the entire blurb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some CSS to do this. And this is where we use our child theme and where it comes in handy. So first of all, I'm just going to get rid of this border over here. And I'm going to go into the custom CSS and uh, I'm gonna identify this blurb image CSS code class actually and uh, I'm gonna identify the CSS class copy it and uh, I'm gonna save this update it and then I'm gonna go into my appearance editor and open this in a new tab so this is our style sheet, our child team style sheet and uh, I'm gonna paste that in here and uh, just define a border for px I don't recall the hex code exactly so I'm just gonna find out quick alright, just copy that and I need to save this all right, I'm just gonna paste that in here, solid, and close that bracket, update this file, and refresh this page. So, um, you see a border, but you'll also see a little space right below that image. I kind of noticed that before I did this video, and uh, I found out that this is because of the line height defined over here and you can fix this by adding another line of code over here that's line height zero and tag this as important so it reads it and applies it and just refresh this page and you'll see the gap disappear and everything seems to come together pretty nicely so the next thing I'm going to do now is create another section and I'm just going to leave this plain white. This is going to be the content section or the welcome section and uh, there's going to be text that's left and um, maybe we should just add some dummy text. Grab that over here. Paste it in here, but before I do that, just make this a heading text, followed by the text we grabbed from that website right now. I would do is create a couple of paragraphs so it's readable even though this is just dummy text I want it to look good and uh, I need two columns you could also use uh, the other two columns and I could show you that after I do this this image first. So I'm just going to use this mouse here. And I'm just going to 
just to see what it looks like. And this looks pretty good to me. But what you could also do is if you have more text than this, you could probably use uh, this uh, column module. And uh, if you have more text, you know, it it will make the image smaller and your text area bigger so it will be able to adjust it all in there but uh, it looks good like this too so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add uh, a small divider on top of it and uh, might not be advisable to have it on the phone or tablet I'm gonna show you why later on so just put it this page now this looks good okay so the other thing you could have done is if you didn't want a divider over there um, you could have used that space to create a button which could be a call to action to get someone to call you on your cell phone directly and you could set that up by First of all, adding your number in this um, field and you could add a link with uh, the tell tag and then your number in front of it. This way it directly, uh, if someone clicks this button on the cell phone, it will directly dial the number for them. Okay, now I want the button to be aligned center and uh, the rest of it is okay and it should be defined because we already defined uh, some of the styles for buttons for our website earlier. So it's gonna come out exactly like orange. Oh right, one more thing about the theme customizer, there's another thing you should probably know that if you do not you know if you leave the text option in the button styles as FFF uh, the original text the default white color you usually end up getting this blue color for some reason and the only way to get rid of that is by defining it as FC 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 and then it, it works properly I don't know why this is but it's another thing that I found Divi has and it's a really small bug it's not a big bug so I wouldn't complain about it anyway so it looks nice now and uh, the next thing we could do over here is uh, have a contact page, may uh, contact contact form maybe, and the, uh, create a full full width um, column module. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a contact form module. What I usually do is I add a phone field in here because uh, clients usually like collecting phone numbers of people who want to get in touch with them, which is obvious. And uh, I drag it up here and I usually make the email field full width. And uh, you can choose to have your capture displayed or not. And this is where you should enter your email address and uh, everything else in here is pretty much okay and uh, you could choose to have custom styles for your button here since I'm planning to use an orange background I'm just gonna make the button black for now
jetpack. Just this color is fine. Alright, so I'm just setting up some style options for the button for the contact form here. And uh, Change the background to orange. Update it. And there you go. The contact form is in there. As a captcha so you won't get a lot of spam emails and uh, we could do a lot of different color schemes and what I just noticed is the main header it's kind of mixing in with the service area and I could just add a little border right beneath it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my CSS style sheet and add main header border bottom to px and c95700 I'm just looking at this one over here and just go and just refresh this page So if you ever have this problem where uh, you updated something in your style sheet and nothing happens, just press the control or the shift and then do the refresh, it usually clears up the cache. And if anyone wants to see this self uh, this website on uh, in its mobile version uh, I'll just show it to you quickly right now before I sign off and uh, this is how it looks on a cell phone so this is our website Alright guys and girls, thank you for watching and uh, take care, bye.